Hey y'all, happy Sunday. So of course there has to be drama with me trying to get on. I was here and ready at 12.30. Actually, I was set up early and the computer started acting a little bit strange. I started like lagging, but hey y'all, happy Sunday. So I should be able to keep up with the comments a little better than I usually do. Um, but today we are going to be doing my very first whip and chill. That's what we're going to call it. It's a um, work in progress of completing a diamond art painting. And the painting that I got today is from um, the Dom Diamond Art Club. They sent me this painting for me to try. And if you missed the unboxing video, it's my latest video that I had, um, but that I have posted. But yeah, that's what we're doing today. It's a beautiful painting and I'm excited about working on it. Hey, Gabriella, welcome. Hey, Kenya. Hey, girl. Hey, what's up? All the way from Italy. I love Italy. Thanks for being here, Gabriella. Yes, if this is your first time here, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Also, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Stick around. I do about two lives on most weeks, and I also post content. I just started doing diamond painting, so um, I do like it, and so I know that I will probably continue to um, have content for diamond painting on this channel. But I also do a cricket project, sublimation, laser cutting with either the Glowforge or the X tool. And so I'm going to try to stay on here for maybe about an hour. I have a few things I got to do today, y'all. Heat Transfer Warehouse sent me some, and Caesar, um, they were working together and they sent me some new ink for my Sawgrass printer. So I need to do that. And X Tool sent me some stuff, so I want to get some stuff done that I did not do yesterday because I I was supposed to do this yesterday. So I'm sorry, y'all. I know I told you guys yesterday, but hey, Sandra, welcome. Hey, Taryn, welcome. Hey, Deborah. So yeah, y'all, that's what we got going on. We're doing diamond painting today, so. We shall see. Hey, T Create and Mickey Mouse. If you're on Facebook, please. And I keep, I, I forgot that I set this for Facebook too. I wanted y'all to see this diamond painting. So if you are on Facebook, I can't see your names because um, I'm not logged into Facebook. But if you give StreamYard permission, then StreamYard will show me your name and who you are. But hey, Facebook user. And Mickey Mouse, it's good to see you, girl. Good to see you. Hey, Mo. Gabriella said she did one of a peacock. Oh, I bet that was gorgeous. Did it have tons of AB stones? The AB stones really kind of like set it off and give it that extra sparkle. Hey, baby giant services. Y'all, I'm scrolling down. Hey, Nicole. Hey, Mayor Bear. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I am glad. Uh oh. See what happens when you think that you're prepared and you're not really prepared? Y'all, I set up as soon as. So, my church service ended at. Did you guys see my password? That was funny. My church service ended at. um like maybe 12 25 but i started setting up usually they're done at at 12 and i started setting up um and so i thought i was ready so i know this is something new for us to do but i am going to show you guys hope you guys can see it good but hey mayor bear hey ba barbara bonaparte hey miss barbara Hey, Hazel Ann from Scotland. Welcome. Oh my goodness, y'all. It was so sunny this morning and I live in South Florida. So, you know, sunny is usually how it goes here, but, uh-oh, I need to get my 
So I have these magnets that I put under. So it was really, really sunny this morning. And then I went to the grocery store. Y'all know I love my Publix. And I went to the grocery store and walked out. And it looked a hot mess, y'all. And then yesterday it was raining so bad. And it started raining hail here. Uh-oh. I keep doing that. It started raining hail. So I'm like, what is that hitting my patio door? Or my, my it's like the sliding glass doors. I'm like, what the heck is that? Uh oh, wrong way. All right, so I use Magnus to keep it down. Hey, Sam from London. Welcome. Hey, Teresa, girl. I'm about to put this to work. So Teresa, y'all, I did not know, as y'all know, that I'm super, super new to diamond painting and Teresa's sister, heart crafts and things really gave me some good tips. If you guys have any tips, please let me know because I am a super novice to diamond painting. I don't know anything about diamond painting, really. Um, so please, if you have any tips, let me know. All of you have been so kind to kind of tell me um you know what i need to do the name of the company is diamond art club there's a link listed in the description barbara you're getting print so gabrielle you're doing quite a bit girl all right y'all i gotta scroll down hey christine hey sharon oh the scan and cut i know what you're talking about my brother Hey, Krista. <laughs> Mickey Mouse. All right, y'all, I'm scrolling down. We're just gonna, if you guys have any questions. Oh, James, thank you. Thank you, James. I appreciate that so much. Okay, do a corner at a time. So Christine said, do a corner at a time. Don't take the top sheet off. Oh my goodness. If you so for those of you who do diamond painting and you saw my video um when I did the unboxing, were you like yelling at me, like, girl, what is wrong with you for taking all of those um for taking the entire sheet off? I had so many people email me, like, don't do that. So I'm not going to. I know. Like somebody also told me to like cut as I go. So cut the, the film as I go. And y'all, Eve has also started diamond painting too. Well, she had did it before in the past, but like she's getting back into it. Hi, Nana. I know I, I, I already know your name isn't coming up on Facebook, but only one person calls me their number one. So I know it has to be my grandma. So my grandma is watching. Hey girl. Hey, girl, hey. All right, so today I did a hobby. I just hold everything. Oh, that's awesome. Congratulations, Gabriella. Is that kind of like we do here? Is that like a, um maybe like a farmer's market, but like for hobbyists or like a pop-up shop? So now for those of you who may not have uh, ever seen diamond painting before, so there's two ends to this. I didn't know what this was because this actually comes out. But I guess that's because this is like, I can pick up four of the diamond drills with this. And then it goes in. I did not know what this was before. Teresa, heart crafts and things like really helped me to figure that out. And this side is just for one dot at a time. So Hey, Kim. Oh, Kim, did I say hey to you, girl? I don't know, but hey, boo. And Kim, I see that you are going to be starting a, um, or restarting your podcast. So I am excited about that. I think the date Kim is going to be restarting her podcast on June 2nd. So tell me if I, if I got the date wrong, let me know. But Kim, I'd be doing a lot of I, I got a lot going on, but I think I remember the date is June 2nd, I think. But if I'm wrong, let me know. So typically, I'm going to pick this up. I'm not going to keep going back and forth. I'm going to do it. But this is just, y'all, we're just chilling. It's nothing major going on. We're just talking and doing this. 
I'm in painting. Let's see. Oh, thanks, Josie. Boo. I had to get my hair done yesterday, y'all. And this is, I don't even like it like this, but this is like an in-between type of hair situation, like a farmer's market. Cool. Well, congratulations on selling out. I said this summer I was going to do more on my table. Oh, no. I'm so paranoid about, so Lois, so I also do like uh, other bling projects like uh, rhinestones or hot fix and flat back rhinestones. And I'm so scared because now I have lots and lots of rhinestones because I buy my rhinestones from the baby's booty and they come in bulk. And so I'm always like super, super paranoid that I'm about to not, uh oh. I'm about to knock it over. So I don't even put them on high shelves. Like I keep them like very, very low to the ground because I'm scary. But y'all, if you have any suggestions, please let me know because this, your girl is new out here doing this and I like doing it. I realized that I like doing it while watching TV, but the problem is, is that I was trying to watch TV yesterday morning and that's why I didn't come on yesterday because I was sleeping. I slept in a little bit late and then I um I had to get my hair done. I had to. I couldn't wait anymore. But while watching TV, I tried to do this while watching TV and y'all like I got lost in doing this and I, I had to keep rewinding rewinding the show because I didn't know what was going on. Hey Kim. Hey, Miss Ruth. Welcome. All right, perfect. So, Kim, the Educated Naturals podcast is going to be on June 2nd. She is rebooting it. So, I'll check her out. But that's that's what we got going on. But I know I was like, everybody was, hey, Chicken Spice, everybody was like, I got so many emails and so many comments like, girls, you're not supposed to take that film off. You like cut it, cut it as you go or pull it a little bit back at a time. But y'all know, know what I'm doing. Just, that was my first time. That unboxing and my unboxings, honestly, y'all, when I get something new from unboxing, I literally unbox it with y'all first. Like I don't really, I really don't look at it before. I don't open it up beforehand so but this is easier because look we get to pick up four at a time I know I shouldn't be excited about this but y'all at first I was only doing picking up one because I had no idea that this what this was for so if you get one of these kits that's what it's for hey Jessica Hey, Marissa. Y'all, it kind of scrolled down to the bottom. Kim said that she has the butterfly eye. I got to look that up. I love butterflies, y'all. Love them. Hey, Martha. Martha, how's hubby doing? Is he all better now? Oh, Gabriella, that's a good question. Okay, so when I'm done with this, y'all, like when I'm done because I don't know and... When I'm done with this, what am I supposed to do? Like, is there something to seal it? Like, do I seal it? Of course, I know you probably have to cut around the frame, right? But do you seal it? And then do you, um, like, you could frame it, right? I often see, like, I'll watch Mrs. Coffee. And I have a link to Mrs. Coffee's um, YouTube in the description. But I usually, this is how I know anything about diamond painting and honestly why when the Diamond Art Club asked if I would like to try one of their paintings, I agreed because I've seen her her do it. I go on her lives all the time and just watch. All right. While she's doing it. Yes, they have a sealer. Thanks, King and Boo. Okay, so they have a sealer. Is it something I could get off of Amazon? Mob Hodge. Okay, so Mob Hodge. Awesome. I'm glad that he's doing better, Martha. 
So I'm kind of doing four at a time, Taryn, and I'm just going, like I'm trying to go over to keep it. So I'm going to just do right here now and then keep going over and then I'll keep pulling some back. Taryn, do you do um, diamond painting too? I'm just, it's pretty easy to stay on track though, but I'm doing color by color. So right now this is the 5200. And I know they say that you can tell which ones are the AB by the, I guess the number, because I had no idea that these numbers are the same. I should get my tweezers, but I don't know. Oh, there we are. I know that the number, I did not know at first, but... I guess the the color of the stones are universal. I guess like everything else, but it's universal. So no matter what company you purchase your diamond art painting from, you will uh, the colors are the same. So that's good to know. But but watching um, Mrs. Coffee, I know that like there's a lot of like sometimes not good activity with diamond painting if like you're using um or if a company is selling paint or artwork that they don't have the right to sell so i don't want to get i don't want to get with a bad company that doesn't sell like you know the right artwork or whatever it's i don't know y'all know i don't know anything about this but i don't want to do that so I think Diamond Art Club is pretty well known. So when I get ready to seal this one, y'all know I'm going to be coming to y'all like, okay, y'all, let's seal this together. Uh -oh. Let me just move it over a little bit. Oh, that's what we got going on, y'all. That's what we got going on. So gloss, extreme glitters. Gloss. It reminds me of when I used to do a lot choking. Okay. But so far, so good. Once you get in a zone, and then you have your little rhinestone sorter. I'm still not a pro at getting these to lay the correct way at first. So I just kind of shake it until most of them go the right way. And I guess you kind of like tap it down and then they kind of go in the rows or whatever. Almost like a game. Like, I don't know, this suit just reminds me of like one of my childhood games that we did. Yeah, that's what we got going on today, y'all. I'm trying not to go too fast because I don't know what the heck I'm doing. So what are you guys working on? Thank you, Mickey Mouse. What are you guys working on today? Or do you have any plans? I still have a lot of graduation stuff to do, y'all. I have... Over here on my chair, I got like about 20 of the um, Dollar Tree paddle boards that I got to make. And then I have some shirts that I got to design because my little cousin who lives in South Carolina is graduating. And so I haven't even designed those yet. Like five came on this one. This is on this one. And I still got to design those. Um, you know, no, I did that. I partially did that shirt for my, oh, great, for my student. And so I got to finish it. That one I did, like that rhinestone one I did the other night on Friday. I got to finish that one for her. I didn't get a chance to finish it yesterday. We got to do. 
Hey, Mary Borzak. Making a back, batch of luggage tags. Cool. Miriam's doing some laser cut lanterns. So down the horse, I guess they awesome, Mary. Shake, shake, shake. <laughs> That's what I'm supposed to do, just shake it and tap it, I guess. I don't know. Thanks, sister. Mow the yard. Oh, Mary. It's Riz. Well, so it poured them raining. Oh, wait, did I tell y'all yesterday how there was like a thunderstorm out of nowhere? I did. All that hail. It was just nice and shiny. And then all of a sudden, it wasn't. I'm getting too many on the thing. So it's, it's like picking up five and not four. <laughs> Terry, you're a hot mess. Terry, have you been mowing that grass? How's your leg? You might do need us to come mow that grass. Hey, Elena. Miss Ruby, yay, you guys well get it done, girl. You know your girl over here don't know what she's doing. I'm just, I think like once I get into a rhythm with it, I'll be good to go. But for now, I'm still learning the process. I'm just excited to see how this is gonna look when I'm all done. That's really, If I can get me like a nice bed table, <laughs> I can possibly do this. No, well, Josie's gonna be like, girl, sit your butt down. You should not be doing nothing like that in the bed. These will fall all over the place probably. So never mind. Never mind. But y'all, this is actually picking up more than four now. So I don't know. And it's perfectly fine. Let me get these four though. Hey, Ashita, happy Sunday. Elena, I actually like it. Hey, Eastu. I like it. Kenya says she's about to take the road to work. Awesome. Oh, Kenya. I know you're happy to have the road home with you. When does she have to go back to school? Around August? I know you're happy, girl. November, that will be a safe thing for Papa. Oh, cool, Gabriella. Hey, Dibs. Hey, Boo. I'm out. I'm. I'm finally here. I was supposed to be doing this yesterday. You know, I was supposed to do this yesterday, but. It was not going to happen yesterday. Well, I thought it was, but I was in slow motion yesterday. All right, so I'm going to get this corner right here. You know, this is the wax. Isn't it so cute? They send you, like, these little wax hearts. So cute. I didn't even want to mess up the wax inside of it, but you have to. So... Yes. Okay, that's good. Cheese, my God, sent it. Awesome. Taryn, you a mess, girl. Be careful, please. With that leg. But I find this really, really relaxing, and it's like a no stress project the only stressful part i think about it is like wasting these diamond drills everywhere that may be the the most stress 
you experience. And for those of you who don't know, like now I flipped it over. This side I can pick up four. On this side I pick up one. But I think they have attachments. And guys, let me know for those of you who do it. Let me know, do they have like larger of these attachments where you could place more than um, more than four on here? I think I saw like a six, six, one or nine or something like that. I'm not, I'm not ready for that. <laughs> That's too advanced. I can barely do the four. I'm going to do the top. We're going to pull it down some more and then I'm going to switch colors because I can't do. So originally my plan was to do all cut, like use, do all the colors, but this goes, the white goes all the way down. And so I'll have this exposed and that's not the ideal situation for, for diamond dots. So we're just going to. Do it like this and if y'all have any questions it doesn't have to be about diamond dots or diamond dots <laughs> diamond painting it doesn't have to be about diamond painting it can be about anything yeah mary exactly i did not know that girl i did not know at all but they do girl they do all right so it's one right here all right, let me. We're making progress, y'all. Look, we're making progress. Chicken Spice says she has maybe eight or sixteen. I've, I've seen. I think the six. I don't think I'm ready. I'm not ready for that just yet, y'all. That's a lot. I do find it relaxing. I like watching it get done, but like to now be doing it, it's pretty cool. I like how I'm saying it's like a no stress or low stress. I don't want to say no stress because the. I gotta move my thing because the thought of wasting these diamonds everywhere is not, you know. But I think any mistake with this is, you know, fixable. Okay. Down a little bit more. <laughs> awesome, Alina. Yeah, can't replace you. I can't. can't replace, replace everything else. Most everything else is replaceable. Oh. But that's how you pick that heart that I showed you guys. That's how, that's the wax that you use to get the dots to stick on the tool. Hey, Ethel. Welcome. Gabriella, you seem like you're like me. You like to do everything. Is this, are you already doing embroidery and this is just a new machine or is this your first time in, um, your first time doing embroidery? Which one? Let me pick all of these up. We're definitely making progress, y'all. We are. Even with me talking. And I got my tea. I need a sip. I'm sipping away because you don't want any like water or anything to get on there. And for those of you who may not know, may be interested. So the purpose uh, or the reason why and I'm just learning this, so I'm not like, you know, a pro. I, like, I have no idea really what I'm doing except placing these dots on. But what I've learned from you all is that I need to keep the plastic film on 
because I don't want any dust or moisture or anything to get onto the diamond painting surface. And so the surface is an adhesive. It's very sticky, but you don't want any dust to get on there and jeopardize that stickiness. And I learned all of that from y'all. So I appreciate y'all who share information with me to make me better. Thank you. Oh, the one fell off, so that's going to be three. Let me see. Well, that's it. I'm excited. So if you guys didn't know, if you did not go over and listen to the podcast from the other night that me and Terrell did, or Terrell and I did, we um we're starting a help healthy lifestyle type of challenge and i went grocery shopping this morning for it and so i'm really excited to get back on track because lately i've been a hot mess well that's not really lately but as far as eating and exercise I've kind of not really taken it serious. So, all right. So, I'm going to put more here and then I'm going to work on this upper part of the, of the lips. Because we keep going down. Uh -oh. I'll put a little more here and then do there. I need to get more of these trays. Um, I did order Penley. If you're here, Penley, hey, Penley. Penley uh, suggested a kit that I get to help me be more organized with my diamond painting. And so I'm waiting on it to come. It should be here any day now. But I need more of these trays. But yeah, Eve and I are going to be doing a, I can put more in here. Blue paper, you have a new tool as a plug. Oh, the grip is that what the gripper is supposed to be? Chris, maybe that's where I thought it was like a pencil gripper. I don't like that. Y'all know I don't know anything what I'm doing. Hey, Levite. <laughs> I'm doing um, diamond painting. So you get diamond drills, and it's kind of like a uh, paint or if you guys ever did like the color by number, that's kind of what it is. That's what it, that's exactly what it's like, Levi. Right? Francine, have you placed on fabric? No, the, so this is like the adhesive. The back has adhesive on it already. Oh, you can do something like this with, rhinestone with hot fix rhinestones though something similar but there's so many different colors in here like this is very detailed the way that they do the rhinestones with the colors so i'm very excited to see how it looks because even though let's say one area i'm going to show you guys the the picture of the the actual painting let me get it because i should have showed you guys that first so it's very interesting like how detailed it is based off of the color of the so i want to like i'm going to compare it so this is what the art looks like without you know diamond paint painting or anything but if you notice like there's different shades of colors throughout and so from what i've heard you know it's supposed to really give us this this look at the end so i want to see how that goes but that's the, the original now. Can something like this be? Yeah, that's gonna 
be some um you just have to convert the file into a rhinestone file and then separate the colors and things like that but i'm sure it can get done it may just take take some time Gabriella, girl, that's your first time, your first embroidery. Good luck. I love embroidery. I started with the uh, with my brother. Um, it's a single needle. I still have it. It's a embroidery and a sewing machine. It works beautifully. And now I have the Rakoma. which so far has been pretty easy. So. Maybe this isn't the gripper. It isn't the gripper. <laughs> Maybe I just assumed that it was the gripper. All right, so once I do this area in the white, we're gonna move over and then complete this upper part because I don't wanna keep moving moving it back, moving the film back. That's how we're gonna do it. So I've had to seal it with Mod Podge or another special sealer. You'll have to tell me, well, Mod Podge, I have tons of Mod Podge, so that's not gonna be a problem. But if there's any other sealer, then I'll have to look into it. So the Mod Podge doesn't dull it, Probably not. I got to get the shiny, the glossy Mod Podge. That'll be fine. I am. Oh, where's Elena? Wait, what happened to Elena? Did I miss? Yes, Elena. I remember. Sorry, girl. I'm a hot mess. I saw it earlier. Cool, Lois. If you guys do diamond painting, can you please go to my Facebook group and upload your, not now, but I would love to see some of your, your paintings that you're working on. But this is really relaxing. I have the light off, like, in, in here, it's just the light from the, the ring light. I think I need to get me some hot tea. No, because they didn't give me any washi tape. I actually probably have washi tape. I'm sure I do. So is that what people typically use? I'm using, look, I, I'm using like a magnet to kind of hold it down. But if there's a better way to do it, then I would definitely do it. So I'm just filling the rest of this area up here. And then we are going to be done over here, y'all. At least this is like the top half that uses this white. And this is like the 1500 if you guys are, if you guys do this, because I don't know. What do you guys do with like your extra diamond drills? Is there anything that you could do with them? I wonder if we can make our own, like, um, that may be too intricate, too much. I ain't got time for that, y'all. <laughs> but what do you do with your, do you just save them for another painting in case you may need it? Like, what, what exactly do you do with it? I'm just finishing up this top half, and then we're going to switch colors. All right, 
So let's see what's our next color going to be. All right, so I'm just gonna put these back into on how they first come with rhinestones. Okay. Uh oh, y'all, I'm about to drop the tray. Okay. Because they gave me, they gave me a lot of extra, like the black. Uh oh. Because I won't, I don't need to use the black anymore. When I first started, I thought that's what, you know, that would be the best way to do would be to just go by color, but it's not. Going by sections, you guys have scared me. And if you want to try this, I have like a 20% uh, coupon in the description. All right, so we need to do, all right, so I'm gonna do one because one is over here. Well, it's not one, let me show y'all. Mickey Mouse, thank you so much for being here with us. I appreciate it. Have a great day at work. Okay, save them. Okay, thanks, Miss Ruth. All right, so the color code is 124. And so I need to take out. And so this is how they come. Like they send it to you like this, right? So this is how they send it to you. Oh, it's upside down, sorry. But this is how they send it to you. And then the numbers are on, it's on the, the package. So we got to do 124. And then once, you know, once I'm doing this more, y'all, I'll have, I'll be a little more organized. Because right now I'm I'm not, but and I'll have the organizational set that Penley suggested that I get. So they didn't give me many of these. This is like this is the color for 124. This pink. It looks pretty. They give you these bags like plastic bags to place. All right, so what I've been doing until I get my stuff, like my packaging, I just cut a little bit off, right? But I saved the, the bag that it came in with the number and then I placed that into the plastic baggie. So that way I'll know the colors because, uh-oh, they gave me an orange in here. Y'all, they gave me, I gotta take out an orange rhinestone. Okay, okay so a little container says labels all contain in one big container. Oh, Chris, I need to, I need to see that. <laughs> I need to, I need to see that. Round two, okay, I'm gonna look for that. Okay. Yesterday, I'm looking for this set of 16 so she was my sister. Please share it, Chris. Yo, I don't know why it has like some orange ones. Okay, so for for the next set, there's like ones here. And again, the ones, it was 124. And so I'm just going to place the ones in the ones slot. Oh, this pink is pretty, y'all. It is pretty. Oh, I didn't even shake it down like how you're supposed to. I appreciate y'all's support for hanging out with me today, doing this. My very first whip and chill. I think I'm going to continue doing diamond painting, so we'll probably do a few more whip and, whip and chills. Or whip and chat, whatever it's called. Ours is whip and chill. Also cut the numbers and put the number in the case I have with the color. Okay, so I could keep that number. I could keep the label. So what you guys may not have seen, um, these are actually like labels. 
So they're little stickers. Well, these are cut off a little bit, but they're stickers. So I could use, I was trying to figure out like what would I use it for? So maybe that's something I could use it for. Hey, Deborah, welcome. Happy Sunday. All right, so there's a few more ones here. And then we're gonna just place all the ones that are exposed right now. I don't see too many more ones around here, so I think this is the only area for ones. And then we're gonna move on. You can really get lost doing this, like lost in diamond painting. If you're like me and you want to see how it's going to look, then yeah. Just have quite a few things to do today. Hi, Shirley. Awesome. Yay. What diamond painting do you have? Does it have a name? Because I know I have to go look at I think that was Butterfly Effect. And then... Let me see it. And tell me so I could go back and look and see. This painting, for those of you who may just be getting on, this painting uh, came from the Diamond Art Club and it is by Patricia Marciano. Yeah, I'm telling you that real. I tried to watch TV while doing this and yeah, no. That didn't, the, the TV show had no chance. So I'm just, now we've already placed all of the 124s in their slots. And so we're gonna move to something else. But in the meantime, I am just going to place the rest of these uh, 124s in the bag. And so that's what Chris and Gabriella and I think Mayor Bear was talking about like the containers for your diamond dots because once you're done, you need to store them. And so I'm just putting them in here like this. I find this easier for me to do it than any other way. All right, so we're done with that. And then this is what I was telling you guys, like until I get my containers and get it labeled, I'm just putting this in the bag so that I could see the number in case I need to use it again. Oh, there are some more ones, y'all. I didn't see. There's more ones at the bottom. Oh, you guys can't see. They're like right here. So I will meet them again. Okay, so you ordered. Okay, awesome. Poo Poo and Friends. Cool. So I saw some people say like you can get from Joann's and I think Cassandra was telling me that even Walmart might have them. So if you're, you know, if you're interested, this is a beginner friendly um, painting y'all because I, uh -oh, I should put it down just a little bit. This is a beginner friendly painting. Because when they told me, they gave me the option of picking one. And then um, she suggested that I do like a beginner friendly one. Especially since it was my first time. And so I'm happy because these are thousands of rhinestones. And imagine if, you, if I did not want to do it anymore, you know. I'll finish this quicker, get some success, and maybe love it and move on to my next painting. All right, so we're going to do, let's look at our chart. So I want to go ahead and do, hmm, there's not many of those. I want to do something where there's a lot. So let's work on this butterfly ear right here. So we're going to do this E first, and so that is 742. Let's see, 742. A seven forty two here. You can put extra beads in bag and fold in half and put paper on it. 
Thanks, Lewis. Seven forty-two. Seven forty-one. I need seven forty-two. Maybe. Oh, did I miss seven forty-two? I might have. Okay, where's my other? Might not have seen it. Seven forty-one. Let me make sure I saw the right number. E seven forty-two. I must have missed it. No, I don't see it. Mm -mm. Oh, cause that's cause I have more rhinestones. Yo, you get so many different <laughs> rhinestones, like so many different rhinestones to do this. So that's how detailed these are. Like the colors are super, super detailed. So, but I do find it super duper relaxing. I'm gonna put this here so I don't forget that I have those there too. So we're gonna put 742 and 742 is like an orange color. Jones has some clearance. Oh cool. I may have to check them out and see. Joanne's. No, Chris, I've been using my little tweezers to kind of tighten it up. I don't think so. My, my squeegees are too thick. I need something a little bit, like a little bit thinner. Mm -mm. But please, y'all, if you do diamond painting, please show me your ways. Please post it on Facebook so I can see it. All right, so these are the E's. So, y'all, so the colors are the same. Are like, does every diamond painting company, they use different symbols? Is that the case? So, like, this orange uh, is E. But does like maybe another company for orange, even though the number is the same, do they use like different symbols? This is my very, very first ever diamond painting, like me actually seeing one. Uh -oh. I'm trying to get the ones. I could have used the other part. What is this part called, y'all? I don't know what that's called. I do have a place where I can get four. I'm going to place it here. Mary Warzak, you have an amazing day too. I hope to see you live later. I think that's what you said you were going to do live later. It's a paper making all that noise. You guys can't really see my hand is like in the way. I'm sorry. I'm do it so you can see me place it on. Here. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to work on this butterfly. There's no more ease over here, so we'll work on this butterfly. No, we've been on for almost an hour and it does not even feel like it. So, do you guys like this diamond paint, this whip and chill? I like it, but if y'all don't like it, tell me, like, girl, mm -mm, you don't like it. If you don't, 
I probably will still come on though. <laughs> But I find it relaxing. So I'm just trying to see. Okay, so now I know this is meant for four, and I'm a person who likes to use things for what it's meant for. But y'all, I'm glad that I just thought you can still do it for like two or three. You just have to pick up. Y'all probably like, girl, we all know that already. Sorry, y'all. I didn't know. I'm super excited about this, though. All right, so I think three. Okay, two. Can you guys see it good? Hi, Tamara. Welcome. Thanks, maybe. Marilyn, are you going to try diamond painting? It's really relaxing. And I've been like really looking for something just to that I could do that's fun. And relaxing and crafty. So, all right, those are all done. So, we're all done with the ease. That was pretty quick. And let me get another bag. When we start, when I get more organized, and I won't have to keep doing like this, but we should start. We got us all got to start someplace, and this is where I'm starting from the bottom of diamond painting. Oh my goodness, with this bag, y'all. Okay, there it go. Well, I cannot get it open. Tamara, this is diamond painting. Diamond painting is very relaxing. So, what you could do, like, you, you, it's really like color by numbers, but you're pretty much blinging out a painting with diamond art. And you can frame it when you're done. You can seal it and frame it. Some people actually sell their diamond art paintings. Like when, when they're done, some people sell them. So you can do quite a bit. And they have different paintings. There's different companies that sell them. Um, in the chat, everybody said that you can get it from uh, Walmart. You can get them from Joann's. You can get them probably from Hobby Lobby. Girl, you can get them from different places. I got this one from the Diamond Art Club, though. They sent it to me to try. I was just going to say it. That I, I, I have anxiety, too. And so... Y'all, I feel like so relaxed doing it. It's like no, a no pressure project. I have a link listed below in the description from where I got this from, but um, Kenya said that they have, Kenya, who had it on clearance now? I can't remember now, but Kenya said that uh, somebody had it on clearance. All right, so we're gonna look at the next one that we want to do and we are going to do y'all we're going to do the down arrows because there's some down arrows here and then we'll, we'll go head into the lips finally we're going to do something over there so where is the down arrow and again the color legends are on the side also so i'm just oh i don't want to do the down arrow just yet okay let's do <laughs> let's do What's that one? Okay, so we're going to do this one. I thought it looked like a hat, like a top hat a little bit, but it's not. So we're going to do 741. There's 741. 
Okay, here's 741 right here. All right, I'm gonna cut it. And I'm just trying to be careful not to really, because the top part is still exposed. So once you place the, the diamond drills on here, you don't really have to worry about this part. Like it's, you know, it's the adhesive isn't a problem, but it's the other portion that you want to just be a little bit cautious when placing. So 741 is going to be this orange. And so I'm just gonna get prepared. Thank you, Shirley. So Shirley. Okay, perfect. Can you said that it's Joanne's? If you're just getting on or you see this late, Joanne's had some on clearance. And Shirley said Hobby Lobby, Joanne's, and Michael's. Thanks, y'all. Good. Do they peel off so you can stick them on? They peel off. So that's what that's going to be for to peel it and put it onto the containers. So, Chris or anybody who could help, help the symbol is that symbol universal like the okay so this is for those because you i know you guys can't really see the symbols on the diamond painting so on the diamond painting these are the symbols and so based off of the symbol that's the color that you're going to put but my question are these symbols universal to all diamond paintings or the symbol itself i know the numbers are universal for the color the, the colors but for the you know the symbols are those universal or do they uh change based off of where you get it from yeah the link the link has it for 20 percent thanks can you aloha patricia patricia it's almost my time to be in your neck of the woods or in your neck of the sea. I'm so excited. All right, let me get this going. All right, y'all. So now it's time to place these on. And that's kind of what you want. You want them to be in rows because it's easier to pick them up and you want them to be face up. So, Kenya, what painting are you doing? You're doing one from Joanne's? Probably universal throughout diamond art. Thanks, Chris. Make sure that you guys, if you're doing a diamond art painting or if you decide to do it, please let me know inside of my Facebook group. I wanna see your pictures. I wanna see how you're doing. All right, so this is gonna be like orange. This orange actually looks the same. One was 741, one was 742 but this may be like, it's a little bit darker. That's what I was saying like with the color. So if you guys see like it's orange, like it's about to be like orange and orange here, but this is a little bit darker, which gives the painting even more dimension. So that's what I mean by like, it's just being super, super detailed. And then when you're done, you're done with something sparkly and pretty. Uh, and addictive, because if you find a piece while doing this, you want to continue. So is there a difference as far as spacing when placing the diamond dots vertically or horizontally? I know it's so blingy, Mare Bear. Yes, Winnie the Pooh. Cool. Kenny, you got to show us. Kenny, you need to do your own whipping chats or whip and chill, whatever. I said whip and chill. I don't know. I think it's like whip and chat, everybody calls it, but we're going to call it whip and chill over here. Unless I can't call it whip and chill. Unless that means something different to somebody. I don't know. Oh, we're already done with the hats. 
So we got some hats over here, so we're gonna put some hats there. But it's really easy to match up. Super, super easy. has different symbols, all oh, different colors, but the number of the color is the same. Thanks, Shirley. Every time and then that's different symbols. Okay. Girl. I don't know. But I appreciate all of you guys for hanging out with me and really supporting me on this new craft. And I don't know if I really consider this like craft, craft. Like this is really, re really, really relaxing. Like this is more like mindful, mindful crafting. Time to reflect and think while you're doing it. All right, I gotta put these up in the bag too. y'all i'm probably gonna do a few more minutes with y'all i gotta finish this other stuff and then but i want to get a little more done up there i think we're all done with nope there's some hats down here at the bottom Sorry, y'all. This is what I'm doing. I'm just putting the number inside of the bag until my little jars come. For those of you who might have just come in, what are y'all working on today? I have a lot of things to do. I got to do, um, let's see, we're going to do, let's work on the A and the H's. We got to do, um, Hold on. So one second, y'all. We have to do the paddle boards and I have to do finish the shirt for my student. Hold on. A and H. A and H. I'm going to do the A. And that is. All right, let's see. A, A, A. 3608. You don't want to see how that's going to look. 3607. Uh oh. Not there. Exactly, Chris. Thanks for being here, Gabriella. See you next time. 3608, here it is. So I'm gonna be putting pink. 3608, and that's gonna be the A. I'm gonna be hopping off soon, but I do wanna get more done. So make sure if you have never done it before and you wanna try it, just try to get a beginner friendly painting. Get a beginner friendly one so that you're not overwhelmed at first. And these are eight. I think that's the key. So you don't get too overwhelmed. Just shaking these down. I'm gonna be on for too long. Mm -hmm. I just want to see that good. This is like more pink. I don't know if you guys can really see how the pink.
kind of changes. So the way that they do this, like to get like the different gradient looks, it's super easy and it's blinky, so it's super pretty. I don't know if you guys can truly tell like how that color, you can't, how that color really, really looks on here. Looks amazing. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the H2. I'm using the single side. Making a fab swing back from Ten May with sublimation. Awesome, Patricia. I hope you post a picture of it. All right. So these are all done. The A's, that was pretty quick. And so now we're going to fill in with the H's and the arrows. I think we're going to finish this part first before I move on. I can't quite move that quick. Deborah, I love that. I love butterflies. That's why I picked it. It's um, Butterfly Kisses by Patricia Marciano. And it was only, I think it's like $20. I did get this from Diamond Art Club sent this to me. But I think it was only $20. And I have a 20 off, 20% 20 off coupon in the description if you want to try this one. But they had some other ones with butterflies too that were really, really pretty. So we're going to do H. going to do H. Marilyn, you still editing your video? Or are you all done editing that video, girl? I have a video. And that's another. I, got, I have those. Um, the paddles to do. The shirt. And I have a video to make. And I want to do my sawgrass sublimation printer. I need to put new ink inside of it. I'm going to have a busy afternoon. And I may try to come back on um, later, not for diamond painting, though, to do some DTF. Because I have not, uh, I've printed out a few things, but I haven't done DTF with y'all. All right, so H, we have 3607, and where is that one? Here it is. So, oh, this 3607 is like a darker pink, so it's going to go right there. That's going to be pretty. And then I need to get, uh, and then I'll find the other one. Uploading it now. Awesome. What's it about, Marilyn? I'll watch it once we're once we're done. I'll watch it while I'm doing my paddles and the other stuff that I need. Oh, and I have to make a, a bank, a Glowforge bank, too. If you guys are here Friday, remember that um the keychain and the necklace that I made. I got a I'm including a bank like in the little gift box. All right, I'm just shaking. One. And the, oh, the eye. Kenya, I was going to get the one with the eye, and then I changed it to this one. That's the one I was going to get at first. And I said, well, let me try the lips instead of the eye. But the eye is gorgeous. All right, so let me. So now we're placing the H, and this is 3607, the color. I keep trying to figure out if there is a difference with placing them. Nobody answered me yet, because I don't know, like, with the spacing, like, if there's a difference placing them. I think there, in certain areas, I think there is a difference. But I'm just... Four more. And so this is what you do when you want to place multiple 
diamond drills at a time. Instead of one by one, like I'm about to do. It's a high school graduation present. Oh, cool. A rental shirt. Cool. I can't wait to see that. I know that's going to be blingy. I know that's going to be blingy up a storm, maybe. That shirt I'm making for my student's uh, sister, I am definitely going to make me one with the school logo on it like that, with the um, 2020. I plan on doing that today, but it's not going to get done today. Yes, it threw me off. Right. Too much. Oh, that's too. Let's get three. Then the next part, we got to do the, uh-oh, I did miss an A, y'all. I did not see that A over here, so I'm going to have to get it. It was one, like, right over here in the corner. For the most part, we're almost done with it. I'm going to bring the camera closer so you can see this uh, gradient, like, how how they're blending in together. The rhinestones. All right, so far those are all the H's here. And I do, let me get one of these. Uh oh, don't want to rip it. The jars are definitely easier than these little bags, I think. I don't know for certain, but I can only imagine. I think I would prefer the little jars. All right, I'm just taking out one little bead. Put it back in its little baggie. All right, so the A is right here. All right, so let me put this in its own bag, and then we're gonna move to the little arrow. <laughs> Thanks, Patricia. It is very relaxing. I'm gonna put these up. Let me make sure there are no more H's around. And we're going to move to that next color. Y'all, it's been an hour and a half, and it does not even feel like it. It does not feel like it at all. But we are going to... Finish that part. <laughs> exactly there, there. You made it work, girl. You made it work. And I bet you it looks wonderful. All right, so the next one we're going to do, we're going to do this. Where is the left arrow? Here it is. So it's going to be 718 that we're doing. 718. Let me get that one. I gotta find, if I do more of these, like, I gotta find something entertaining to talk about. 
something fun. 718. So this is 718. Let y'all like, girl, I want to hear nothing entertaining. Okay, perfect. Shirley, did you get your jars off of um Amazon? I saw somebody post like a um a kit, or I don't know if they were jars from Harbor Freight. And y'all know I love Harbor Freight. So I don't know if they had even more jars. I gotta see the kit that I'm getting and everything that comes with it. This is for the left arrows in this area. It's not that many that we have to place either. Oh, I just hit it too much. All right. Well, this should be enough. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. So I'm gonna put four. See, this one just looks easier for me to do it this way with these because it's so tight. Oh, I can't wait for y'all to see how these blend in together. These blend in really, really nice. Deborah, it's very, very relaxing. I'm telling you, I tried to watch a show. I'm like, okay, I'm going to watch a show and and do this too. But this took over. I had to keep rewinding the show because, like, my mind just got so relaxed. And I just got really focused on doing this. And, like, multitasking was not, that was not going to happen. So the TV show did not get watched. It was on, but... And here I'm putting these one by one, but you can definitely do multiple stones at a time. Eve started her diamond painting the other night too, but we're going to be doing a live together, a live whip. And my first, my very first introduction to diamond painting was actually maybe a year ago, maybe a little bit longer. There's another YouTuber who does it, and she comes on on Friday nights. Her name is Mrs. Coffee. She just changed her YouTube name to just Mrs. Coffee, but she um she does this also. She's way more entertaining than me, and she's really fun. So check her out. Her link is listed in the description below too. And that's the first I ever saw um, saw this being done. Did not know it was a thing. On. Oh, Shirley, you got them from multiple places. Cool. So you guys see, so if you ever get into doing diamond painting, um, they have storage that you could get on Amazon. And Shirley said that she got hers from Walmart, Dollar Tree, from different places. And that's just so that you could store your stones. 
All right, so I think that's all of that. So I'm going to bring it closer so that you guys can see it. And I know I said that this is going to be my last one, but I think I'm going to do another, another color to get a little more of this look done. But I do want to show y'all what we have so far. The little ones from the little work also. Thanks, Kenya. I think six in a pack. So the little jars from the Dollar Tree, that's what they're saying. You need like some nice music playing. I could be singing on my R&B hits that I love while doing this. I can't do it on YouTube though, but if you're like doing these at home, totally can listen to some music and do it, do it super relaxing. The four color pen and the cut. Which four color pen? Which one? I don't know. A four color pen. Oh, is this one more? <laughs> Chris, I can't help it. I cannot help it. I can't. I do want to show y'all how it looks so far. Um, let me bring it closer. So do you see how those, that pink lip look, the, well, the pink portion of the lip it looks really, really good as it's blending together. All right, so now I gotta do, all right, so we're gonna put, so here there's like the dollar sign, there's only a few, so this isn't gonna count as my color. We're gonna do it, but this isn't gonna count as the one extra color that we're gonna do before I have to go to go to work. <laughs> this is not work. So before I have to go to work and do worky things, let me put another few colors on. So the dollar sign is, is that a dollar sign or S? That looks like a dollar sign, but maybe it's an S. <laughs> It's not a dollar sign, y'all. It's an S. <laughs> That's an mess. So our number is 762. <laughs> 762. Okay, here. So 762 is like another uh, white color. And that's going to be for the S, not the dollar sign. It was. Right, Chris? The way they blend together is so nice. Alright, so that was a four color box in there. It may be. Oh yeah. <laughs> There's a thing for for blinking. <laughs> Alright, so the S is not that many. Oh, surely that's true. That would be fun. Maybe I have to set that up. Whip and zoom. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll set up a whip and zoom. If you set it up first, let me know. I would definitely participate. As long as it's not on Friday night. If it's on a Tuesday night, I don't mind. I can cancel. Crafty. Well, I can cancel Friday night too. Sin will do it maybe for me. All right, so now we're just putting in, I guess this is like a different, once you kind of move around, you can kind of see like the difference, but it just looks like it's more white that I'm putting there. All right, but. It's not, they definitely have these colors down to a science. Right, so we have some more S's here. And I continue to want to call these dollar signs, but they are not dollar signs.
this is a great way to spend Sunday, though, to get ready for your week. If you work, you're getting ready for that. If you even have your own business, this is a really good way to spend Sunday. Helps with reflection, a little bit of mindfulness. Pretty cool. All right. Hey, Miss Sonia. Josie Blue, I'm still here, girl. Still here. Every time I think that I'm done, I'm not done. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to hold off until our next whip and chill. Because I may actually finish this. If I, if I work on it one night. I'll come on with y'all. Even if it's not scheduled. For those of you who care about whip and chills. Alright, so the S's are done. Let me make sure they're all done. We're making progress though, y'all. We are making progress. Let me get my another bag. What's gonna be our next color? See, Chris, this does, these don't count because it's not that much. Like the color, it's only small patches of that specific color. So these don't really match. This these don't really count as like colors. So I gotta do like a few colors in order for it to count. Uh, 762. Let's see which next one we're going to do. Maybe we'll do the. Okay, I know which one we're going to do now. I know exactly which one we're going to do. Okay, no problem, Miss Shirley. We will definitely do one. Should we all do like different paintings or is it one where we say we do the same painting or I don't know. No, get your own painting. Do which one that you like best. But it'll probably be like a beginner friendly one again for me. All right, so let's see. We want to do, there's one, looks like this is a, I want to an arrow, but it's like kind of pointed down this one. So we need 947. So we're going to be doing this. 947. You're like, girl, I don't care what this symbol looks like. And 947 is right here. Yay, Miss Sonia, you got one too. Miss Sonia, this is so relaxing. And 947. So this is like a brighter orange. I'm going to work on it. Cool. Tamara, this is, it's really relaxing. And it's like a craft that you don't, like, it requires no experience to even do it. So, because you're really if you've ever done like color by numbers or anything like that, this is, oh God, this is that. Did y'all see I knocked it? That's what you don't want to do because what? I didn't get too bad. But if you've ever done color by numbers, this, this will be a no brainer for you. Uh oh, I do have one right here. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. I'm fine. Y'all know it takes very little for my anxiety to start to act up. All right, so let's go. We have four. And we're just going to place these here. So I have this here, like these symbols here and here. So we'll fill, fill that out and probably do some more because... 
You should. Why not? Why not? It's Sunday. I'll be at work tomorrow. I won't be able to do this. All right, so where I could, I'm like getting a few at a time. So, Miss Sonia, Miss Sonia, this is going to be your very first, right? So, if you do like once you start, one part is for picking up multiple diamond drills, and the other part is for getting one. In case you didn't know, because girl, I did not know. So, I appreciate all the tips, y'all. All the tips. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Has to be a hot mess moment. If there's no hot mess moments, y'all know something is wrong. Let me divide them. Nope. It comes with everything in the kit, Tamara. Everything you need will be in the kit. So you don't even you don't have to buy anything. Unless like I know eventually I probably want to get me um like a cuter pickup tool, but it comes with this, it comes with the wax, it comes with everything that you need. So these are like the little wax uh, wax hearts. It has a film on top, so you just gotta remove that film to get to the wax. It comes with everything that you need. Only thing that it didn't come with, which um, somebody asked me if it came with, was like washi tape. Um, and so the washi tape will just help to hold your film because don't take this film off. I have an unboxing where I took the film off um, when I first started and first tried it. And you shouldn't take that film off because anything can get onto the adhesive. It's all sticky. So you don't want that. Other than that, girl, it's a craft and go situation. Open and go. You don't have to worry. All right. Let's see. I kind of like going a little bit closer because I can kind of move a little more quicker with the diamond dots or drills this way. But it may not necessarily be ideal because as y'all saw, I almost wasted them all over the place. And so if you do that and you, you have it exposed, then you're going to be picking diamond drills off of it. But for the most part, it's not too bad. Right. Okay. That's all right. Let's put this here. About a whole bunch of stones, Miss Sonia. It comes with it. Yep, it all comes with it. Take those stones back because they're gonna give you extra. Like you have extra stones too. It's not um. It's not like they give you the exact amount of stones you need. They give you more. And so they give you little bags to hold the extra in, but you may want to get some of the containers for it, like some little storage jars for it. It's really relaxing. I do want a prettier uh, pen or tool, I'm facing tool, I do. <laughs> I'm 
got this color set. Looks like it's all done, y'all. So this one is done. So we are going to then move to the down arrow. And I promise in 15 minutes, whatever's not done in 15 minutes, that's just it, y'all, because I got to go. <laughs> Don't worry, Miss Sonia. It's everything comes with it. You can take it back. I took a canvas and made my own picture and used those diamonds. They sell the sticky glue. Oh, cool. See, I was trying to see what I should do with like the extra ones. Um, but if you continue doing diamond painting, you know, you never know when you're, you'll need them. And if you're like me and you're kind of a little bit clumsy, um, sometimes you may waste your diamond drills. And so having that extra stash is always good because if you're like me too, if all these diamonds, all these diamond drills fall, I'm just going to sweep them up and throw them in the garbage. So that's, it's a good thing to have the extra ones. But. Hey, crafting away. Welcome. All right, where is my thing? Y'all, did I throw that in the garbage? I did. 947. I didn't throw it in the garbage, but I put it aside. All right, we're going to see what else we're going to do. I think I said I wanted to do the down arrow. Yep. Let's see, let's see, let's see. 47. So this is the 947. I got a skull. I have a printer. I don't know if I have glasses and all that stone separate. Oh, okay. So the kids come with it. Thanks, Chris. The kids come with it. But they do have canvases that you can get without it. All right, let me. So we are going to do. Okay, so this is going to be the last one. So we will finish this and. We're gonna do the down arrow. This will be the last stones that we place today. I really wish I would have had a, had the time yesterday to come on here with y'all. I probably would have finished this with y'all yesterday. <laughs> Chris, I can't help it. This is gonna this is gonna be it because I I wanna. I want to finish some stuff and I ended up uh, shutting down my computer because when I first tried to get on I had some issues and it was lagging and so I ended up shutting my computer down with a lot of things that I needed open so that I gotta see exactly what it is that I I shut down So we're gonna do this one color and then that's gonna be it. So we're doing we're doing these. It's red here, one of my dots swing it down, y'all. Why is it red? And I guess gonna look good. Are we sure you do? We definitely have to do that. I think that's gonna be fun, us doing a, well, uh -oh. one fell down too quick, y'all. Us doing a zoom with diamond drills. I've been painting. And everybody doesn't, if you don't have a diamond um, art, then you can get one. But if you have, you could just work on something that we're already working on together and talk, give tips. That'd be fun. Uh oh, now I'm being sloppy. I think I need some more. Wax. 
but did not fill that side up with the wax. Oh, there we go. It's all good. I use my hands so much because I can take the wax from the heart. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it you did you remove the film off? There's like a film on top, Kenya. It's like a little film on top, and then you kind of almost like have to scoop it out. So see, it comes with the it comes like that. And then you just have to take the film off. I keep my film on when I'm not using it. And then I find that you have to like take it and almost like press down and scoop up. And then it'll go in like that. And then for this side too, like for that first, even with the uh, film from on top, I felt like it wasn't getting in there. But that's kind of what I do. I don't know. But y'all, if you have better suggestions, let me know. Because y'all know. I don't know. But we don't have much more to go. And then I'll show you guys a close-up of how it looks. Is the film bothering you guys that I have to clear? Uh oh. I see that. We're almost done. Oh, lip gloss. Ooh. Hey, Lakeisha Boo. All right, so we're done with that. We got those down really, really quickly. Now we just got to do over here. There's this one. It, like, really wants to be used. It just, like, keeps hopping up on the stick. Don't worry. I'm going to use you too. All right. So, each of the rhythm can really go. So here I'm doing them individually, but you could definitely pick all of those up at once. There's four. There's like a slot for four. But I had to get them going. <gasps> now I want to just do one more, but I'm not. I'm going to stop here. Hold on. Let me put this. I'm going to put these inside of its own little baggie. But I do want to continue. I do. The left butterfly wing. I do, don't I, Chris? I do. Okay, let's do it. I mean, it didn't take much convincing. What time is it? Two. See, I'm still ahead of my 2.30 uh, deadline, so I definitely can do it. And, yeah. We'll do the other one. Why not? Because I, I really wanted to finish all of this today, but we're not going. I know I'm not going to be able to do that, but that left butterfly wing, it can get done. Or at least whatever symbols in there, we're going to do those symbols. And then if those symbols go out here, then that's what we're going to have to do. You know, since we're going to have the rhinestones open and out, we need to. As you see, that didn't take much convincing. It was super, super easy for me to say, yes, let's do it. All right, let me put this back. 
So we're done with that one. And now we need to see what that number sign looks like. What color that is. This is a hot mess. Facebook, if you're there, hey, y'all. All right, let's see. All right, so we need 817. Let me put all... I can't believe I've used this many colors so far. It doesn't even seem like I've used that many colors, but I have. Tamara, you're still here. Hey, girl. Yes. All right. So let me see. We need 817, and that is the number sign. So we have this number sign here and here. So we need 817. Here it is. That's like another red. So the 817 is like another red. But as you guys see, even though the colors are similar, when they're put together and next to each other, it really, really brings the painting to life. Like, let me show you guys a little closer. So this is what this is the look that we have so far. Yeah. So we're going to work on finishing this uh, wing. But it looks pretty good, y'all. It looks really, really good so far. And it's really relaxing. All right. So we are going to work on those, on that number sign. Let me put this here. The container you can put in the plastic bag. Nope. They only came with the little baggies. That's it. The little clear baggie, surely. So I did buy some. Um, I did buy some stuff from Amazon. Hopefully, I got like the right stuff. But I did. Penley told me to get something. So y'all know, if you have any suggestions, don't hesitate to let me know. If you. If it's later, please send me an email to Patrice at Craftable Things and be like, girl, you need help. <laughs> I'm here to help. I will appreciate it. All right. And so you kind of just want it to like really fall into the slots as best as possible. And shaking is supposed to help, but I haven't really mastered, mastered that yet. So, all right, let's get to going. Let's get to going. All right, so I put, uh oh, I wanted to get four. That didn't go up. Right. So I'm going to put here. So I don't really like putting them down that way. But. Thanks, Patricia. Not that I can take credit for how beautiful it is. <laughs> I'm just placing the dots on the painting is, the picture is beautiful by itself. But adding this bling makes it better. Bling makes everything better. I then I gotta do, I got a lot of stuff to do. I'm going to do my next, I got a lot of stuff to do. All right, let's see. But summer is almost here, y'all. Shake is supposed to flip them all off the top, right? I'm not having good luck with that, Chris. Well, it's not bad. It's not bad. I just 
Like, I don't even get them all to go into the line. Like, I don't know. I'm probably shaking it wrong. Is there a right way and, or a wrong way to shake? Tamara, where are you? I'm with the heat. And this rain has been a hot mess as of late. Y'all, it started raining out of nowhere yesterday. Well, it usually starts raining out of nowhere here. But we had hail. I went out last night to get some food. And there were trees in the middle of the road. Like, it was a hurricane. I'm like, what in the world is going on? That's how bad it was. I don't like to be in your way. I want y'all to be able to see where I'm placing them. I'm working on my diamond painting setup, y'all. Let's see what's the best way for you guys to be able to see it. No worry, Dempsey Boo. It's just a relaxing Sunday. I hope you're having a good day at work. Uh -oh. Let's relax until I have to stop diamond painting and get some work done. All right, so we're all done with that. Chris, look at us. We're moving along. It's only 2.32. All right, so we need to... All right, so let's see what the T's are. Because there's quite a few T's here. So let's do the T's. Let's see what color that is. I'm in, I'm in South Florida. Oh, you're in Dallas. Yeah, it's hot there. I'm in South Florida. It is hot. All right, I'm going to put this up. You are? Are you from Miami? I'm from Miami. I'm, I'm originally from Miami. But I live in Broward County now. But I'm from Miami. I meet so many people on here that's from my, like from South Florida, the South Florida area, on YouTube. I met quite a few people. Shakia, Tims, Delanda. You ready to, girl? Are you sure that you're ready to move back? Move back here? Are you sure? Because I don't know. Every time I'm like, I want to move someplace, but then I don't. So we're going to start. I said we're going to do the T's. So that's 814. All right. She said, yes, yeah, she's ready. And as you know, it never gets cold here. Well, it gets cold. Our cold is not like everybody else's cold. Our cold is not like everybody else's cold. But I like the cold. That's the thing for me. Like I like I like cold weather. I'm shaking the 
rhinestones in the little tray, y'all. See, I like the cold weather. All right. Oh, yo, Miss Shirley, look, I got this. Look, I did pretty good today. Well, not today. On this one, I did pretty good. Got it to, like, most of them took it in line. All right, so we're doing the tees now. This is like a, this looks like a burgundy color. Yep. Our first thing here is hurricanes. So when a hurricane comes and a hurricane hits, which that seemed like we had like a hurricane or something yesterday. But when a hurricane hits, that's what we don't like. My students are like, oh, when there was a possibility of a storm, they want a hurricane so that they don't have to come to school. And I'm like, you guys won't survive. Don't ask for that. They're like, no, that we can stay home. And I'm like, yeah, you can stay home. I said, but guess what? When there's a hurricane, there's no power. And you know what that means with no power? No cell phones, no internet. Oh, y'all, I missed one. How did I miss that? I missed the red. There's no power. And so then when I said that, I was like, no internet, no Snapchat, no Instagram, no TikTok. They changed their mind real quick, y'all. They didn't want that. <laughs> they didn't want the hurricane anymore. I was like, mm -hmm, I bet you don't want it. I bet. You want a hurricane just so you can stay home. It is misery being home during a hurricane. In the aftermath. Hey, G. Smith. Happy Sunday. D. Smith, I'm doing something different today and I'm actually loving it. I am loving it. All right, so we got some teas down here. So I know it's just doing those like one by one, but... I don't know why y'all, I actually like doing them one by one, but it doesn't, you know, for time, it's not ideal. It just seems like I can get in like a nice groove doing it that way. And I need to do it actually goes by quicker than you think because I really just have two more spots in the wing to finish, Chris. That's it. Look at that. All right, let me. Oh my goodness. They would not, definitely not through Hurricane Andrew. Mm -mm. Oh. We were out of everything for a long time with Andrew. But they. They were asking for it. They thought, we just want to take it so we don't have to go to school. Mm -mm. All right. And then it's super hot here. So when you don't have power during a hurricane and then it's already nasty outside. Like after a hurricane, the weather is just really, really funky. And then it's already hot. Oh, my goodness. Mm-mm. If y'all would not make it, but like we know, like don't say that you don't know what you're asking for. <laughs> yeah, I I lived in Miami during Andrew. I didn't move out of Miami until I was an adult. 
all of my family is there. Pretty much all of them. Now oh, this is looking really nice. I wish you could see, like, see it how I see it. It's looking super, super nice. And that's the thing. Once you're doing things and you start, like, filling in all of these dots, you want to keep doing it because you want to see it continue to flourish and look beautiful. So I'm going to go with next. We're going to do, because I still have to do here. So we'll do C. And then, no, no, no. We may not do C just yet. Hey, Jackie. Yep, no fans. Okay, I was miserable during Andrew. And then I have had family who lived south. And so they got it really, really bad, like in the South Miami area. And they got it really, really, really bad. So, yeah. Hurricanes are no joke. So, I may, so we're going to do, I'm going to finish this and the C's. And then that's going to be it. But I don't, I don't know if I'm going to come on for DTF a little bit later, y'all. Probably not. We'll see. Unless I do DTF on Tuesday for Crafty Talk. Possible. I don't have no plans. All right, so these are done. Yeah, homesick are really, really bad. I don't think they ever really recovered from it, honestly. I haven't been down there in years and years and years, but it was hard. <laughs> Chris, girl, so we have this, and let me see what color we're going to do next. Oh, dips. I'm gonna do it oh, as soon as I get off. Text me, text me, text me if you don't get it. Cause I meant to do it. Um, so y'all, we're gonna do a a make that hoodie. I know I've been telling y'all about 4:45. So I'm gonna do this one first. The 4:45. So we're gonna make a hoodie. Um, in about since is that two weeks from now? That's like two weeks, and. It's going to be Dimps, Eve, Baby's Booty, and I. So I'm going to list a link or post a link in the community to it in case you want to sew the hoodie with us. And that's what Dimps is telling me. And she's like, uh-uh. And then four. And so this kind of helps you to know the colors because the dots are actually the same color on the paper. It's like a similar color to what you're going to be using. Oh, thanks, Dempsey Boo Girl. I had to do something with my hair because this is like my in between hairstyle. Because I needed to do something to it. It was just a hot, yucky mess, y'all. A hot, yucky, yucky mess. So this is what I came up with for now. So thanks, Dempsey Boo. All right, so it's not much that we're going to be placing here. Yes. So you know I'm not, you know I'm not practicing. Y'all going to be like, she always get on here and be a hot mess. I'm not practicing. But I do need to get the material that I need to use for it. And so that's the, I need to get it because I don't even have the material that I'm going to use. And I better be prepared because Eve is already doing a sewing project. So I'm excited about that. And she was like, sewing? Mm -mm. Now you're doing too much. But she is going to 
do it with us because you know put support. That's gonna be fun. As soon as we're done, that's gonna be the next thing I do. Before I work, start working on the stuff that I need to work on, I'll do that. And I'm gonna post it in the community. Dems, I'm gonna send it to you, but I'm gonna post it in, in the community too, in case anybody wants to see it. Oh, this one's quick. Not too bad. Oh, this is coming out really, really nicely. Red on here, y'all. Oh, just heard just so dirty. Chris, 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 Chris. I need to take the serger out of the box, y'all. This serger has been in the box for like months and months and months. Like, I have not even unboxed it yet, and I need to unbox it. I plan to unbox it over the summer. So that's going to be, that's the plan to unbox it over the summer. But, y'all, I need to. So for now, we are just going to sew it with my little, um, with my brother, SE600, because, yeah, that's the plan, Chris. I take that serger out now. Mm -mm. But I want to learn how to use it. And so Miss Joanne has been patiently waiting for me to have time to stop and learn. So hopefully this summer, that is the plan this summer. Before I told them that I was going to work summer school, the plan was to really get into it, but I still plan on that. Oh, then it's going to be fun. See, Krista, it's, it's quicker to do it with a serger. I need to learn how to use it. <laughs> Girl, look at that hot mess. <laughs> Marilyn, you already know your girl over here. Your homegirl is a hot mess. You know that. You know it. You know it. But look, y'all, look at this butterfly. It is looking beautiful. Beautiful. This is what makes you want to keep going. Once you see it come to life, like you want to keep going. You don't want to stop. And that's where I am. That's where I am. I don't want to stop. Because, whoa. Chris, I'm going to take you up on that offer because I need to learn it. Sometime, like, I'm hoping, like, June, I'll have some time, June, July, um, to really work on it. All right, we have two more colors that we're going to use. All right, just two more colors that we're going to use, and we're going to be done. Because I want to kind of get, like, around the butterfly. So, yo. So excited about this. Okay, so the next color we're gonna do is, it's gonna be, is it like this hourglass symbol? It's green, I guess that's it. Yeah, it looks kind of like an hourglass, 498. 498 is right here. It was right there, it was waiting for me, y'all. It must have known that it was gonna be next because it was right there on top. So isn't that cool? It was waiting its turn patiently.
Oh yeah, and I can't wait to see Mare's video. She has a new video up. So I can't wait to see that. <laughs> and so he said she was going to Dems for her lessons. <laughs> Miss Sonia, then can give some lessons. She knows what she's doing. It's going to be me that's going to be the hot mess when we're doing this um, hoodie, y'all. Y'all going to be like, why would she pick that if she didn't know what she was doing? Why would she even, uh, I got a, like a, I don't know if this is like rhinestone residue or what that's in here that I got to get out. It's like a big little... And it fell in my slot. Okay, I got it out. All right, so it's not that much that we have to put here. So we have here and we have some here. So let's let's start here first. Thanks for hanging out with me on my first whip and chill, y'all. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the tips and tricks that you guys have given me. Because, yeah, I did not know a lot of this stuff. Let's see. They can totally get lost and it's super relaxing. Some people will like doing it. Some people just like to watch it be done. Look how quick that went. All right, so all of those are done. That's always like a dream. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. You know that. You know I don't know anything about sewing a hoodie. But we're going to do it because nothing's going to scare us. And it's just a hoodie. So. And it's going to work. Okay. Yes, Patricia. Somehow we decided... <gasps> That looks so pretty. Somehow we decided to do a, uh oh, I missed, missed two. You know, I missed the T too. Uh, I'll have to get it later. So somehow we decided to do a hoodie and yeah. I think it was my idea. I'm sure it was my idea. So. I don't know where we're going to get the fabric from. Um, I probably was just going to go to Joann's or find a fabric shop down here and get it. But they may have on Amazon. If they do, I'll, put, I'll link, link it. I do get uh, fabric from Amazon sometimes. So I don't, and I haven't had any issues with the fabric that I've gotten from Amazon. It's an early 80s. And it's still working like a charm. That's good. I guess I was scared because everybody's like, oh, you know, if it unthreads and you have to redo it and it's too difficult. So I don't know. But I'm definitely not one to back down from a challenge. So if it's going to be a challenge, bring it on, Miss Serger. My sorter does not have a name yet, so we will have to name her, y'all. Uh oh, this one doesn't want to come out. It did not want to come out. Hey, MC from KC. You like watching? See, like some people like watching it, and some people, you know, some people like doing it, some people find watching it relaxing. You just got to find which one you are. Oh, the Patricia. So the pattern is coming from Creative Fabrica. I'm gonna list a link to the to the pattern. 
it's like this one is a pop top i guess there may be a version where you could make it you know into a full size uh, hoodie the one we're doing is going to be a crop hoodie and also we have one more to do we're going to do the c and that c is going to be 823. oh it's a pretty purple we haven't done any purple yet so let's see the purple I was born in the 80s. Me too. <laughs> Me too, Tipsy Boo. Me too. That was the best decade. All right, so we're going to do this. is going to be purple. The C's are purple. 823. I'm going to post in the community, Patricia, and probably on Facebook too, so everybody knows what we're doing. I'll post um, the links so that you guys could see it. Hi, Rhonda. Soft, minky type print material for your hoodie. It feels soft, minky type material. Okay. Soft, minky type material. These I'm going to have to come back and read it in case I forget. My memory is off sometimes. But soft minky. Mm. Like a velourish you know, minky. I'm excited. It's going to be a crop. Well, if I'm making one for me, it's not going to be able to be a crop. I don't really have the stomach for a crop hoodie. But I am going to make a crop hoodie. My daughter, I'll make it for my daughter and then maybe make me a full length hoodie. I love hoodies. I miss anybody. No, I didn't. I didn't. Thought I did. All right, this is it. I'm going to have to savor every second of this because I'm going to have to put this up in a minute. And get some work done, unfortunately. This is actually, I find this. I know some people are like, roll the same fun. I find this to be very fun actually and very relaxing i could stay on here and just do this with y'all i'm trying to keep y'all company but i could really just zone out and do this okay. i had to squeeze that one in there because i had already placed these down but looks great there we go this one is over here now this is turning out wonderfully 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 that's the only thing when I do it the other way, I can't really see how I'm laying it down. Let's go one by one. One by one. I can do it and not be in your way. Yep. But we're almost done with this. Uh -uh. Expect more whip and chills. Oh, this is looking gorgeous. I'll give y'all a close up shot. I wonder how small do they have these? I would love to give some of my kids. Who do have like anxiety or like other types of things going on with them? I would love to to introduce this to them. Even to our family therapist at the school, she does like a lot of different activities with the kids. Like they paint. She'll do like when she has her sessions with them, she paints with them. She does um, 
like she's been making masks with them lately like you know kind of just to like get to know them a little bit better and for them to know themselves better and so i would love to maybe get a few kits maybe um get a few and she could work on some of them with her kids during her therapy sessions where they're doing like they they do a little art with her and they're talking at the same time but i do find this to be very very relaxing so do they have them in like smaller i think this has maybe about 7500 stones but if they had something that could take maybe um maybe like 2500 stones because i mean that could take two sittings like two or three settings with her i would definitely give her a few use with them because this is relaxing y'all we're almost done with our this is our last one the actual last one, y'all. You know, like, girl, you said this is gonna be your last one, like ten rhinestone colors ago. Yep, I did. But I'm glad that I kept going. All right, are those all of those colors? The C's. Yep, I don't see any C's over here, y'all. It looks like we are done. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> that is it. The, it's, it's the blue grip, huh? That's what it is. It's. <sighs> I gotta get. I gotta get better. Do like I need a. I need a better rhinestone picker upper or rhinestone tool or diamond drill tool whatever it's called i need a better one i can't wait to give you guys a close-up view of this i really honestly y'all i really want to keep going i don't want to stop i want to keep going but i have to be a responsible adult right now and stop but i do want to keep going i don't want to stop First, we made it to the last one, and I appreciate you for being here with me. Uh -oh. I know this is different. Like this isn't something that I usually do on on this channel. It's very new for me, and you will probably well, some of you didn't know, or some of you were like, "What is she doing? Like, she's not doing a sublimation. She's not doing anything with cricket." So I appreciate all of you guys who came in and stuck around, whether for one minute or five minutes or for this, these past two and a half hours. I appreciate it. All right, so we're going to do a close-up look, and then I'm going to put everything up because I do have to do some things. But y'all, look how beautiful this is turning out. Uh-oh. Of course... Look how beautiful that is turning out to be. And that's pretty much, this is what we really did. Um, oh, Marissa, that makes me happy. Yay. Hey, Cynthia. I think I'm going to, I want to seal it and probably frame it. This looks like something that my daughter would like, like in her room. So I'll probably frame it and give it to her. But these work, I think these are beautiful, like gifts and things like that. So we... We kind of covered the area, like this area. And as y'all see, like I do have some space like that I probably need to kind of like adjust them a bit right there. But over here, there is no space. Oh, y'all look how gorgeous that is. Oh my God, I love this. I love it. Like what if I had time to like finish all of that? That would have been beautiful. But we got a lot done. And it's actually looking really, really good. It's turning out really well. 
So I'm just gonna put our magnets up because that's what I use the magnets to kind of pull the paper, but I need some washi tape. And so we're gonna put this back over to cover like here. Because right here, as y'all see, like this film, I could cut it, right? But the film isn't really protecting anything here. So I guess when I get back to it, I might actually work on it a little bit later. But y'all, that's looking so pretty. It's looking so pretty. And let's see, I'm going to switch over. And then that's going to be it for us. Uh, let's see, let's see. Where is my thing? Okay, there it is. Y'all, I'm back. And thank you for hanging out with me on this Sunday. I am going to get some work done. I have some paddles that I have to do. I have some wood that I need to cut. I have some stuff that I need to laser. And Xtool sent me their... Um, the honeycomb tray to go underneath the x d1 laser so i'm going to do that and i have not done the rotary video yet that i need to do but i'm super super grateful that thanks taryn i'm super super grateful that you guys spent time with me today to do something new something that i've never done before if you can use super okay thanks that's a good group see this is what i let me tell y'all, this is something new for me. I've never done this before. And so I really and truly appreciate every time you guys give me ideas or suggestions or let me know how to properly use these tools. So I really, really appreciate it. And I look forward to doing more diamond painting with y'all. Again, this stuff came from the Diamond Art Club. Um, they have a website. All the information is listed in the description in case you're interested in it. Yes, Chris. Chris, your video, it's, it's exactly what I needed. So thank you so much. Yep, I'm going to be watching Marilyn. I'm going to, before I get to work, I'm going to list the information for the hoodie. So I'll have... Um, in the, not in the description, in the community, I'll have everything that we're going to be using for the hoodie. Dimps, I'm going to send it to you in a second. And yeah, I'll have it. Thanks, Miss Sonia. Thanks, Chris. Everybody, have an amazing week in case I don't come back on um, today. Marissa, if you are interested, I have a link listed in the description to the Diamond Art Club and there's a 20% off coupon there or a coupon code. But Kenya told me that Joann's has these on clearance, I think, or has some on clearance. Um, I think they sell at Hobby Lobby. They also sell at Walmart. So check, I think you'll have a good time doing this with your grandbabies. I think that's so cool. But well, that's it. Have an amazing rest of your week. If I don't see y'all today, I'll see y'all on Tuesday for Crafty Talk Tuesday. Thanks again for hanging with me. I love y'all. Have an amazing week.